Hi there, Sage from Keeper, and welcome back to another video. In our last video, we showcased how Keeper's management reports can help you effortlessly create and send monthly financial packages to your clients. In today's video, we're going to be diving into a powerful feature with Keeper called Metrics. This is going to help you build and track KPIs and business metrics for your clients in just a few clicks. Make sure to like this video and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all future releases. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below or navigate to the bottom right corner of your Keeper account, click on the purple widget and send us a message. And lastly, check out the description of this video so you can find helpful links and resources covering today's topic. Let's dive in. Keeper's metrics feature is a part of our management reports and it's designed to help you create and monitor custom key performance indicators, KPIs, directly from your client's ledger data. Now this feature is perfect for presenting data in a clear and easy to understand format, even for clients who may not be well-versed in financials. Plus, since it's integrated with the QBO N0 ledger, Keeper automatically updates and calculates the KPIs every single month. Navigating the Keeper's metrics feature is very easy. You're just going to click on the client that you wanna work on, and then from there, you're going to click on the metrics tab in the top left corner. From there, you're going to be redirected to this page. And I want you to think of it like an Excel sheet that's directly integrated with your client's QuickBooks and Zero data. Now, inside this metrics area, you're going to see two key sections. The first is variables, which you can see in this top left corner. And the next is visuals, which is directly to the right. And both options can be clicked on and interacted with. Now, the variable section is divided into tabs, which you can see on the bottom left hand corner. Again, which should look very similar to the tabs you're used to seeing in Excel. And each tab is gonna contain rows of data known as variables. So you can see we have the profit and loss sheet, the balance sheet, and the cash flow sheet, and all of these variables can be seen right here in front of you. Next, we have the visuals, which you can create by clicking on the visuals tab to the right of it. Now, you can create a visual for any variable in your tabs to better represent your data. And you can see I have a couple examples right in front of me, but we'll go through the motions of how you can create your own as well. In this section, you'll be able to create new metrics or edit some existing ones. And by default, you're gonna see the tabs like the profit and loss, balance sheet, and statement of cash flows in the bottom left corner, which I pointed to earlier. But you'll also have the ability to add some custom tabs where you can create financial statements filtered by class, locations, customer, or something unique. And you can do that by clicking on the plus button in the bottom left corner, and then choosing from the default options. For today's video, we're gonna create a custom sheet and we'll just call it our test KPIs. And now you can see that there is another tab right here on the bottom, which I'll click into and now we'll get started. Now there are two different types of variables. You have your number and formula variables. So for the numbers, these are gonna allow you to manually input values that don't exist in the ledger, such as employee count or unit of sales from a POS system. Now the formula variables are gonna allow you to build formulas that are referencing other variables. So if you're comfortable with a bit of arithmetic, the possibilities are endless, and you can insert those in this top right corner by hovering your mouse over the dropdown and picking from the two options. So let's dive in with a couple examples of some custom formulas that we can create, starting with the gross profit margin. So the formula is gonna be our gross profit divided by total income times 100. So what we're gonna do is let's go and insert a formula and let's actually plug in the appropriate accounts. So we're gonna search for our gross profit. I am then going to divide that by our income. And then I'm gonna put some parentheses around it and I'm going to multiply that times 100. From there, I'm going to put in the name. So I'll just do GPM for gross profit margin. And you cannot see it because my face is covering it. So let's move myself to the side and apply that formula. I'm gonna move myself right back. And now you can see that we have a gross profit margin formula. Very important that whenever you create new formulas or any new rows that you are saving them. So make sure that you save them and you're good to go. Now, another example of one is going to be marketing as a percent of expenses. Now, you can also focus in on something that your clients want to keep a close eye on, like how much money they're spending on a particular area of business. So what we're going to do is we'll focus on advertising. We're going to insert a new formula and let's search for our advertising. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to divide that by our expenses. From there, we want to make sure that we give it a name. So we're going to call this marketing as a percentage 
expense. And then I'm gonna move myself to the left again so you can see that I am applying that formula. And then I'm going to save it again. And now we have two examples of formulas that we can now create some visuals on. If you wanna make any edits to the formulas that you've created, if you hover your mouse to the left-hand side under the type column, you'll be able to click on this settings wheel. And from there, you can edit the row settings from the type, style, or indentation, as well as editing the formula and updating it afterwards. Once everything looks good, we can now start to create a visual. And what we'll do next is click on the visual toggle button right here in the top left corner. And then from here on the right-hand side, we'll click add visual. Next, you're going to see a few different options for you to insert some information into from the visual title all the way to the different variables. Now, Keeper is going to support a variety of different visual types, including KPI cards, bar charts, line charts, and more. So let's apply this to the gross profit margin formula that we just created. So what I'm going to do here is in the visual title, let's just put in GPM for the name of the report. The visual description is optional, but if you wanted to add a subtitle, you could insert some information here. I'll then choose my format, which I'll leave as currency, the rounding type, which I'll leave as a ratio. And then for the visual type, I'll choose one that best applies. And for this first example, I'll use an area chart and then I'll select my variable. And you can see that I can select some of the custom variables that I've created, or I could easily scroll through and type and search for anything on the profit and loss, balance sheet, or statement of cash flows. So I'll use the one that I created for my gross profit margin. And I will leave orange as the optional color, but you can choose from a selection and I will save it. And now I'm gonna scroll down. You cannot see it because my face is covering it, but I'm gonna save it. And now I've added a visual. Now I can rinse and repeat that same process for the other formula that, I, that we've created, which is marketing as a percentage of expenses. So what we're gonna do next is go back to add visual. And we're gonna just rinse and repeat that same process. So we'll call this our marketing example. I'll leave the visual description blank. I'll leave the format and routing type as blank. And then for the visual type for this one, I'm going to choose a line chart. And then I'll pick the variable, marketing as a percentage of expenses. I'll leave the emerald color as is. And now we have our second example, which I will save. And just like that, we have two visuals that we've created. Now that these visuals are created in the top right corner, if you wanted to make any edits, you can click on the edit visual button. If you need to delete it, of course you can remove it. And then if you wanna rearrange the order in which they appear on your reports, you can select it, drag and drop it, and then you can push it to the side that you want it to be seen. Now that we're done building the visuals, these can now be included in your management reports, helping to create a much more comprehensive reporting package for your clients. Now the best part is you only need to build out your metrics tab once during your latest close for each client. Once you open the following month's close, all of the data automatically is going to update, keeping everything fresh and up to date with minimal effort. So now if I go back to my management report in the top left corner and click on the reporting tab, you're gonna find the metrics in one of two places. You can either go to the executive summary and under the key metrics button on the top, you can add any of those custom variables that you've created, in this case, the gross profit margin, or the marketing as a percentage of expenses. And you're gonna see that in the bottom left corner here, or the next place is gonna be in the metrics section down below. So let's move myself to the right so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Click on the metric section, and now you can see the visuals that we've created, which look wonderful, may I say. Now I mentioned this in last video, but just as a reminder, once the report is done, make sure that you publish it to the client portal. You also have a handful of different options if you wanna download it, email it directly, but adding it to the portal is gonna be the best way for the client to view them. Make sure that you opt to notify them if you want them to be updated. Otherwise, just save it, upload it, and then when you close out of it and go into the portal view, which you can always preview, you're gonna be able to see the end of the month reports that you've created, and if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll be able to see the visuals that we've just created. So we're going to close out of this because that is where we're going to call it for today. Thank you guys for making it to the end of this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below or use the purple widget in the bottom right hand corner to send us a message. Check out the description of this video for helpful links and resources on metrics and can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care.